yours, I believe. Cheers. Always losing this. Yeah, getting smaller, aren't I? Oh, you won. Yeah. I know he beat Dennis up. Oh, yeah? Earlier, I couldn't help overhearing. Naughty. It's a small flat. Then you must have heard Dennis say he didn't want to tell me. What, and you're just, like, going to leave it at that? It's his business. Yeah, but it's not just Dennis. I mean, around here... Vicky! Quite... Look, I appreciate your concern, darling, but if Dennis has got anything to tell me, he'll tell me. Well, I think it's about time I showed my face. Where are you going? Just a couple of places to visit. Well, I'll come with you. No, 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 it's, it's all right. I'd rather just... It's OK. I understand. Dead man walking. Here. I hope you're not thinking of putting them on someone else's grave. You want to show a little respect. Hello, Doc. I'm sorry, Doc, if I gave you a fright. Sharon all right? I think so. She must have got quite a shock. Yeah. Yes, well... Sharon did a lot of silly things after you'd gone. If you'd been there, I don't think she'd never have got involved with those Mitchells. <laughs> Sounds like a musical act. If only. Of course, she married Grant, and she seemed quite happy. And then there was all that business with his brother, Phil, and that put paid to that. Phil Mitchell? You know him, do you? Heard his name last night. Yes, but there ain't many pies round here that he ain't got a finger in. Big shot, is he? He's a bully. Always oh, caused a lot of grief in the square. You've only got to ask Sharon. Ask her what? Well, I think you'd best ask them, then. Because you know me. I ain't one to gossip. Do you think you can pull that kind of stunt with me? Then you pick the wrong person. I will make sure you never sell anything anywhere ever again. Well, it doesn't look much different since the last time I saw it. Oh, it's been for a few changes over the years. And so have you, by the look of you. Me? Well, you look worse than me, and I've been dead 14 years. A few things around here could do with a shake-up. Well, some people too, I expect. Oh, Phil, have you seen him? Seen her. You ain't heard then. I have thought you'd have been the first to know that he was back. You talking about? Of course, pretty soon he's going to be somewhat of a celebrity around here, which is hardly surprising when you think about it. Who's back? Dennis Watts, <laughs> Sharon's father. You talking about his brown bread? No, you ain't. Not no more, dear. He's risen. Anyway, how's your mum? Oh, she moved away. Oh? Yeah, South Africa. Cool, some move. Well, she wanted to make a fresh start after a second marriage fell apart. Messi, eh? Yes. Who was she married to? Some bloke called Phil Mitchell. Him again. What? I know Doc mentioned him earlier. And? Busy bee, isn't he? Oh, so you don't know the half of it. Ian. Uh, then this is Kate. Phil's new wife. How'd you do? No, do you? Not only by reputation. Anyway, I'm off. Uh, no doubt we'll bump into each other again. Oh, that thing we were talking about earlier. Oh, I'm very interested. Yeah, um, I'm sure Sharon will fill you in. Now there's a face I'll never forget. How nice to have you back where you belong. How you doing, Pat? Not as well as you. You still run this with Frank? Frank? You've got a lot of catching up to do, Ted. Uh, this place is run by a bloke called Phil Mitchell. Well, well. Do you know him? No, not yet. This place, the calf, snooker all, the arches, Phil owns them all. A lot of pies. Sorry? Ah, oh, something Dot said. Anyway, I'll catch you later. Yeah. That's it. Certainly beats having a look over my shoulder the whole time. Mm, it caused quite a stir. Well, you know me, I like to make a splash. Well, if you believe everything people are saying out there, you've been involved in everything but the great train robbery. Yeah, and I probably know where Lord Lucan and Shergar are, too. <laughs> but there's one name that keeps cropping up. Yeah? Your ex, Phil Mitchell. What about him? Would you want to fill me in about him? Well, what do you want to know, Dad? He uh, owns some property, runs a few businesses. And uses his fists if he doesn't get what he wants. Oh, does he? All the time. Vicky, tell him about the other night. Why? What happened? Nothing. It's finished. How can you say that? Phil's walking around and nothing... Vicky! He slaps you about in front of everyone in the pub and you say that nothing has happened. Princess. Hey, uh, you heard about Sharon's old man? Hmm. 
Dot told me. Oh, yeah, him coming back. It's all over the square. So what do you know about him? Enough to know I ain't got anything to be worried about. It's just a fault, but I mean... He ain't gonna be too chuffed about what you did to Sharon, is he? Just a fault. I slapped him first. That's not exactly the point, is it? Look, Dad, it's over, OK? Don't. Why? Because I don't want you and Phil to fight. I... Why did it happen? How did the argument start? It doesn't matter. Oh, it mattered enough for him to give you a slap in front of everyone and you to have a go at him. Is this because of Dennis? Yeah. Thank you. What? You expect me to do nothing after what he's done? Where is he now? He'll be in the vet later. OK. I think when Dennis comes back, we'll all go for a drink. Well, you used to be the main man, do you? Yeah. So they say. Naughty boy and all. We'll lock up your daughter's stuff. Yeah, it was a long time ago. Things have changed, haven't they? Still. If Dennis Watts had something then, chances are he still have something now. What are you saying? Well, I mean, he's been away all this time. Now he's come back. He's hardly going to retire and mow the lawn, is he? Maybe it's time I went and met him then. That's what all the fuss is about. See you. See you later. Happy now. I just think you should know what kind of a man Phil is, that's all. Why, what good would it do? Because someone needs to stand up to him. Can't settle some feud that goes on and on till only one of them's left standing is at it. Yeah, if that's Have you takes. any idea what you're saying, Vicky? You set Dad against Phil and Phil will come after him with everything he's got. Good! Don't you get this? Oh, what is it with everyone round here? It's just the Mitchells. Be nice to Phil, respect Peggy. Well, I'm tired of it. What, do you think fighting's the answer? Look, we were here long before the Mitchells came along and we'll be here long after. I just think it's about time we got a little respect. Not like this. Phil Mitchell is a bald knucklehead who pushes people around because he can. Dad will have him for breakfast. Interrupting something, am I? No. Well, come on, then I'm thirsty. Well, what about Dennis? Well, he can come over when he gets back. Well, let's give him a bit longer, eh? Why wait? Dad, you don't have to do this, you know. Do what? I'm just going to have a drink with my girls. Let's go, huh? It needs to be done. Come on. Have we lost something? Yeah, loose jacket. I can't find it anywhere. No, it'll turn up something, won't it? Well, before Friday would be nice. I asked Lisa if she Listen, had Listen, I'm, I'm going to go out for a bit. To the Vic? Just for a drink. To see if Dem Waters there? Maybe. Phil, you're not going to start anything, are you? Well, not if I don't have to. Just going to show my face, that's all. Coming for a drink? All right now. Oh, come on. We might bump into Phil Mitchell. He knows. Come on. All right, you look down, sit down, I'll get them in. Well, I'm glad you found time to pop in. Well, you couldn't keep me away. Oh, no, the barrel needs changing. That's all I need. One hand. It's getting a bit busy. You sure? I know it's been a while, but I'm sure I can still remember how it all works. Dad? Dad, what's going on? I'm gonna give Pat a hand. Behind the bar up? I don't think it's a very good idea. <laughs> For a couple of minutes. See? The world hasn't stopped turning, has it? Right, let's get that barrel done. Phil. Oh, Pat. Busy night. Up and down, you know. Any surprises? Just the one. It's done. What's he doing there? Aren't you going to introduce me to Phil Mitchell? I don't have to ask who you are, do I? No. What do you think you're doing? Helping Pat out. Yeah, well, get out from beyond the bar. I said, get out from beyond the bar. I'm not deaf, I heard you. Anything else he's doing? No, I'm fine, thanks, Dan. Good. You're in my way. Me. 
Next time you set foot inside one of my gaffes, see how? Snooker or the calf. I'll tell you what to do, something you do it. Is that right? Think of it as heads up. Oh, I know what it is. Because I don't like asking twice. And I don't like being threatened once. Dad. Dad, please. Got yourself a bit of a reputation around here, right here. I can match yours. Well, they've got heads down. Do you believe everything you hear? Do you? Only the good bits. Well, I hope I won't be disappointed. No danger of that, son. No danger at all. You got something gone? See what happens. You're going to see Phil? Who knows? Dad. It's all right. I'm not going looking for trouble, OK? See what you started, Vicky. It was only a matter of time. All I did was show Dad what he had to deal with. Plus, you saw Phil last night. Now he knows who he's up against, so back off. Phil, back off. Look, he only hits people when he thinks they won't hit back, right? Maybe. So what do you think he saw when he looked at Dad last night? Someone he wanted to take on? Or someone he wanted to leave alone? Well, I've heard about the day's Dennis Watts. Oh, yeah? You must have known him pretty well. We had our moments. Looks like he can handle himself. I'd say. A bit of a face around here, then. Look, Phil, I'm not the only one who remembers him. There's others. Why don't you talk to them? Can't be that many. There ain't. Doc, Pauline, any others? That's about it. Apart from Ian. Ian? Well, Pete Beale was Den's best mate. Den always looked out for Ian. Hey, you met Phil Mitchell last night? Yeah, we had a few words. And? I hope he had a few words. No, I managed to talk to Kate, yeah? Kate? Yeah, about me working at her nail place. No, not yet. Only I could really do with a bit of dough now, you know what I mean? Yeah, all right, Bill, all right. So otherwise, you're going to have to move in with the Slaters, like tomorrow. It's going to be a nail bar, apparently. And that's something they need round here, is it? Mm, obviously a gaping hole in our lives. I understand Phil Mitchell owns it. Yeah, owns a lot round here. I heard. Uh, you know him? In a way. He's a father of my child. You're a uh, Dan Watts, aren't you? So I'm told. And who are you? Lisa Fowler. Oh, Fowler with a Mitchell baby. Do you want to tell me how that happened? Did you go after the mill machine site because Kate wanted it or because you knew I was trying to buy it? And there was Kate saying how grown up you were being about it. Don't bother me. I've got plenty of other things to think about. Quite like hanging around with your old mate, Dan. It bothers you, doesn't it? But me and him are friends. Good. You think he's going to make a difference around here? Don't you? Yeah, and so do you. Not me. Well, you better get used to it. You're on your way out. There's not a lot you can do about it. He must have stood on a few people's toes on his way out. <laughs> few, I suppose. How about you? Me. Well, after all that's happened to you, how do you feel about him? He's uh, a good dad, and everything he did was about what's best for Lou. I see that now. Must be something in the water. What do you mean? Well, this bloke pulls stunt after stunt, doesn't care who hurts, so no one lifts a finger. And do what? Has everyone been asleep since I've been away? You mean to wake us up then? There's got to be somebody there interested in these bank. Emily yeah, ain't. That's right. I don't know who I am. Just call it civic pride. I'll get one later. <laughs> oh, suit yourself. Cheers. Yeah. Cheers. You know, if, if someone had told me a week ago, we'd all be together. Oh, food at last. Dad, wait. I'll get it. Dad? Dennis Watts? Yeah, that's me. I'm arresting you on suspicion of perverting the course of justice. You do not have to say anything. But it may harm your defence if you do not mention when questioned. Something which you later rely on in court. Anything you do say may be given in evidence. You ready? Let him sweat. He ain't sweating. 
He's knackered. He has to sit it out a bit longer. There's a chance he's going to slip. Yeah. Yeah, only needs one word. You want to read his file? I have. All that stuff from years ago. <laughs> the Dagmar getting torched? Then what set that up? Fact. And Brad Taylor went down for it. There's no proof Watts was involved. Getting sprung on the way to court? Well, weren't he involved in that, neither? Yeah, against his own free will, Pete. The firm got him out to take him out. Read the whole file before you start quoting it at me, will you? Perverting the course of justice, that's what we're after. And he knows it. If I could tell you what you wanted to know, then I would. Wouldn't I? But you can't. We have a DNA match of your blood taken from the side of the canal at the time of your disappearance. You have the clear scars of a gunshot wound to the chest. You have a signed statement from Ian Watson. Admitting that on the 23rd of February 1989, not only did he shoot you, he also saw you. He saw you then falling into the Grand Union Canal. And yet there's nothing you want to tell us. And 14 years later, 14 years, Jack Dalton breathes his last and suddenly we got an unknown corpse down All Saints. With your name attached. Who is he then? The man's wearing your gravestone. Yeah, because suddenly you're back from the dead, aren't you, Dan? But for some reason, and I don't know, you ain't talking, mate. Fellas, don't tell me it's a crime to come home. Let you out then. Looks like it. <coughs> Heard you was helping with inquiries. Oh, somebody been talking, have they? Anyone we know? You what? You got something to say? Because if you have, you just open your mouth and say it. You got a problem, you just say it. I'm touched. Listen, I don't know what it's like around here in the old days. Rough. But it could get rougher. I slapped your daughter and I had you son beat up. Now you got something to say about that. You want to discuss it, we discuss it. Because then we'll all know where we stand, won't we? No, I'll shit you first. Dennis, well, little man with a big voice, full of himself. No, I don't think we've got anything to discuss, mate. 